Alright, it's Thursday, February 28th of 2013, and it's time to get started. This, uh, this, today's vlog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, a lot of what I say is not necessarily popular, but it's nonetheless true. It's not, uh, it's well researched. And this, in the vlogs here, is the basic, is, is a very brief introduction into the topic itself. There's a lot more that needs to be researched. There's a lot more that needs to be brought out. And this will come out in a period, of, you know, in due time as the work gets done, as it gets pushed out. You'll start seeing it come out more and more, and you'll see more and more of the evidence. So, uh, to continue is that we hear, uh, if you've been watching, uh, if you're, well, if you're a regular on YouTube, particularly if you're a geek, uh, most people know about the people who committed suicide on YouTube, and the whole push for suicide awareness uh, has become one of the, uh, I don't want to say staples, but it, it, is, it has become one of the staples. You regularly see messages about suicide, or, you know, prevention, or someone uh, upset about this. Uh, or in, in this situation, uh, it's often enough that it can be called and defined as a staple of YouTube. It's part of what you call, I guess I would call, a nerd environment. And YouTube is primarily uh, sort of populated by nerds. So, all different types of nerds, from popular down to, again, non popular nerds. And I'm one of the non unpo unpopular nerds, but it's, that's okay. And so, but there needs there need, there need to be a discussion because everyone understands that suicide is a bad thing. No one wants suicide to be done. They say, oh, what a waste of a life, and so on and so forth. And it's sad when someone dies like that. It's sad no matter how a person dies, it's sad when a person dies because you, you miss them. But suicide itself is particularly tragic because it's viewed as if you want to say unnecessary. But when we look at suicide, we forget that there's two parts to suicide. There's a physical suicide and then there's a spiritual suicide. Uh, the physical suicide, a physical suicide can, can occur. And, well, this is where it began. Then you have to be concerned about the soul. And here's the, 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 one of the tragedies about suicide, and this is why suicide was often looked down as a a uh, negative from the societal point of view is that when a person committed suicide it has been assumed that and this is where in, 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 in history and tradition that the soul dies with it with the body so in other words suicide kills not only the body but kills the soul as well and that means a person, if a person dies physically normally, if a person dies physically normally, normally he can continue living on uh, in his soul. His soul continues on living. In other words, he has what we call an afterlife. Now, many people have mixed feelings about this, and there's actually a number of actually is now coming up with quantum mechanics. Uh, there's a number of scientific explanations that can provide a sort of a shed a light into the uh, spiritual existence, but we're not going to go into that now because it is a rather complex uh, argument. And unless you really have a good understanding of uh, quantum mechanics, then you're going to have a hard time understanding uh, the, what we call, as you would call, the spiritual universe. So if you the uh, two, two forms of the universe, there's the regular physical universe that we have, our normal space-time universe, and then there's a spiritual universe which exists beyond space and time. So, again, you call it, if you want to call it, a parallel universe. And, of course, this universe is split up into two different, uh, 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 two different segments, heaven and hell, and there, apparently, if you read the literature and you go into the ancient documents, there are degrees of heaven and degrees of hell. And, you know, so in other words, the, 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 the dimension of heaven, the parallel universe of heaven, is again subdivided into various different levels of existence. So the soul moves from the physical universe into the spiritual universe, 
at the point of death. So in other words, death is our transition from one universe into the next. And this actually, so, if it kind of fits with the, a lot of the, the historical, uh, her historical beliefs of man. Historically, man has believed in God, uh, I would say, it's now 99.9% uh, of man's history believed in God. It's only been, basically, it, 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 since 1900, so, 1900 is when atheism somewhat came in, uh, but it really didn't take hold until, uh, the 1950s and 1960s. So, but let's give it the 100 years. Let's give it the 1900. So you're looking at about 100 years as opposed to 3,000 plus years of human existence. So 3,000, well, three, no, no, 5,000 plus years. Because you go, it's 3,000 years to the, uh, 3,000 years BC brings you back to the Egyptian Empire, the beginning of the Egyptian Empire, plus 2,000 years for this current, this current era. So that's 2,000 plus 3,000, that's 5,000 years. So from the beginning of the Egyptian Empire until our current time and period, you have 100 years of existence of, of atheism versus 5,000 years of existence where people believed in God and, these, and the spiritual universe. And now quantum mechanics, which was not part of atheism, atheism is part of deterministic science, and quantum mechanics is part of indeterministic, uh, undeterministic uh, science, where deterministic science is where you have experts, you have laws, there's authority, and things can be known absolutely. In the quantum universe, things cannot be known absolutely. There's always a degree of uncertainty. And this has been demonstrated by the uh, wave-particle duality, and a number of other mechanisms have demonstrated this uh, Lack of certainty and the lack of determ a lack of uh, of of finiteness to the quantum universe. So the quantum universe actually sits in opposition to the dem the, de the deterministic universe under which uh, atheism was born. So atheism was born under the deterministic finite science, and the quantum mechanics now sort of negates that. And so the base of atheism has been fundamentally. Uh, eroded, or uh, I always use the phrase blown up because it ended with the atomic bomb, which was sort of the confirmation, the ideal confirmation that the quantum universe actually existed. And everything sort of progressed from there on out. Uh, so, if you take the, 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 the understanding of, of how the quantum mechanics, the view of the spiritual universe, and the view of the physical universe, uh, over 5,000 years for the human history, then you have to ask yourself the question, is the physical existence more important than the spiritual existence? If the, if the physical existence is temporal, temporary, and the, and the spiritual existence is it can be eternal, would you sacrifice the eternal, the spiritual existence, for the existence of the, etern of, of, the, of the temporal. In other words, would you sacrifice the spiritual existence, which is eternal, for the temporal existence of the physical existence? In other words, we have 100 plus, about 100 years, give or take a few years, uh, let's say, give it 100 years plus or minus 10%, uh, that's a good number, uh, easy number to sort of figure out. Would you trade, would you trade your, your infinite life for a hundred plus years? I don't think so. Most people, if you ask them, would you rather live for a hundred years or would you live forever? People would say, I'd rather live forever. So this is sort of the question that now when we look at things like gay rights and all these other things that um, were considered to be uh, part of, uh, a part of, an in, in integral to spiritual poison that destroys the soul, that spiritual poison. Uh, and destroys the soul, uh, whether or not this is something that should be concerned. When you are promoting, making, make, making sure that somebody's happy in their physical existence with gay rights, are you at the same time standing at the base of a building uh, and asking their soul to jump off to the death? In other words, are you promoting their spiritual death while promoting their physical existence when you're dealing with gay rights? And, that, and this is where we have most moral issues have this common 
question to it. And this is sort of the question that, that we sort of need to think of as we go forward and we talk more about some of the more serious issues. And we're not going to always be talking the serious issues. But as we go forward and we talk more about these things, we need to now think about the physical existence and the spiritual existence and which one is worth more. And if there is a balance between the two that we can sort of get to. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. That's sort of we're on our last track here, our, our ending track that we've gone over time. So that's it for this today. I will see you tomorrow on Friday for the, the tomorrow's vlog. All right, take it easy.